Good morning. Time now 505 and this morning we're getting a closer look at what happened with the fight at Hopewell High School on Wednesday that sent the school into lockdown. We want you to take a look at this video because this is new for us this morning. That fight happened during a class exchange about 1230 on Wednesday. Five students were involved in this fight between the ages of 15 and 17. And as you can see in this video right here, a gun uh, appeared during that fight. However, police are saying this morning that they they are still unable to find that gun. But during the investigation, we are learning that two guns were found on campus, not including this one right here. So we're still working to learn more about this investigation. But police believe the fight stemmed from an attempted robbery earlier on Wednesday. During this attempted robbery, they do not believe guns were involved and they're still trying to find the victims in this situation. Again, something else that's under investigation. But what we can tell you this morning is that the five students in custody, they are all being charged with possession of weapons on school grounds and parents are terrified. They are terrified that this will happen again and become an ongoing problem and they really want not only CMS, but law enforcement to step in and do something about it and find solutions. Take a listen. Sometimes I feel like just taking them all out of school and just homeschooling them because if it just gets worse like this, you never know what's going to happen. It does give me greater concern um, and that more needs to be done. So this story is still developing, but the question is, like I said, what are some solutions? Well, we do know that CMS, the district, and also CMPD, they're looking into increased security, clear backpacks, as well as metal detectors and a parent program. This parent program will make sure that moms and dads are involved in the school during the day as much as they can to try to be that presence to kind of steer any wrongdoing. Ben? I, I know this has to be maddening for a lot of parents out there. Um, you, you send your kids to school expecting them to be safe yeah. and things like this happen, um, and you just feel helpless. All right, Ruby, thank you. 507 right now, turning to more of today's topic.